Uh, Ian, harder work there in the field second time around, but you're still in a good position. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough work out there. We know it gets flatter as the game goes on, but um, yeah, still in a great position. Uh, well over 300 ahead and still one day to go, so we're, we're still very happy. And the second new ball due in only 11 overs as well. Yeah, and that's a really important part of the game for us. We know that it'll get um, more challenging to bat, hopefully nip around and, and play a bit up and down. So we're just going to keep coming and, and take our chances when they come. It's still six wickets, but it's the last day of a game. Not worried at all about not enforcing the follow-on? No, I think, um, yeah, we're happy to sort of balance out our, our bowling innings, knowing that we've got um, seven games, eight games on the bounce here and um, trying to manage all the loads and being in a good position with plenty of time left. It was, um, I think, the right decision and probably showing that it was now. Let's talk a little bit about you. Top score in the first innings was 64. You topped it with 146 not out in the second. Yeah, it was uh, nice to get some runs. Uh, good to contribute. Um, missed out last week and watched some boys go on and bat really well and get big hundreds. So it was nice to have that come my way and um, and get get plenty of runs for the team as well. Get in a good position. Second first class hundred and uh, you beat what? You beat by three your previous best here against Warwickshire a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, it was nice and. Um, I guess, yeah, it's nice when, when you can better your own scores, but we're just trying to put the foot down there and get as many runs as we could uh, just before we declare there, but uh, really wrapped for that. And you sneaked in with the ball in the afternoon as well when things were flat, Gubbins going well, White going well. You picked up Gubbins. Yeah, yeah, it was nice to get that wicket there. He was batting really well, and we know that um, you know it's hard to get wickets when that ball gets flat. Um, but, yeah, it was a good catch by Dorsey and, and a really important wicket for us to to take one in that last session there. Let's come back to your batting because it's an interesting one, isn't it, really? Because you had a successful opening time, second half of 2019, including that big 100. Didn't do it much last year. I think it was only the last game. And now here you are back opening the batting again and back in the runs. Yeah, I love it. I do enjoy it up top. And um, it probably depends on the balance of our team. Um, last year without Abbott um, and Fidel, you know, we were a few bowlers down and more of a, a role for me there. But um, it's worked out really well to to go back up top and I really enjoy the challenge and I feel like my game's pretty well suited to, to being up top and um, yeah just really chuffed to be taking the opportunity and um, and hopefully we keep going well as a team. I mean is it something that you think you and Joe Weatherly now you 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 know you'd hope that you are the regular opening batting lineup from now on? Yeah I hope so I mean I think we've both shown that you know we, we've performed well in this position and it's just up to us to keep performing now. You never, you know, you never fully set in any cricket team, but um, you know, I, I think um, yeah, Joe's a really quality opening batsman, and 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 hopefully I've shown now that you know I can do it as well, and hopefully we can get a few more partnerships together and um, and keep going well.